Why do some people develop type 2 diabetes even if they're not that overweight, while others don't? The answer has a lot to do with genetics and something called your personal fat threshold. We often think that diabetes is all about eating too much sugar and being overweight. The truth is that not everyone handles fat storage the same way. Some people are just more genetically predisposed to building less muscle mass and store more fat inside of their livers. Less muscle means fewer places for glucose to go and too much fat stored in the wrong places like your liver cells means that insulin cannot work properly. So even at the same weight, two people can have completely different risks for diabetes. It's mostly about how their bodies partition fat and muscle. And this is also where the personal fat threshold theory by Dr. Roy Taylor comes in. Every one of us has different amounts of fat that we can store in our fat cells without problems. Some people can store lots of fat without spilling over, and some others can store very little before it starts spilling outside of the fat cell, which causes big problems. This spilled over fat starts accumulating in places that are not meant to store large quantities of fat, like your liver cells and your muscle cells and your pancreatic cells. That's the start of insulin resistance, prediabetes, and type 2 diabetes. So in short, this is basically the main reason why some people can look skinny, but internally they have very small amounts of muscle mass and they have fat accumulated inside of cells that are not meant to store fat, which are fueling the fire of insulin resistance. If this is your case, this is not the end. Genetics load the gun, but lifestyle pulls the trigger. So there's multiple lifestyle habits that you can do to prevent and reverse this issue. Comment checklist below so we can send you the 10 habits that help you reverse insulin resistance.